Chancellor of Lesotho, who is here in Yumo uh, State, um, for what I may call a fact-finding mission and the partnership with the Rochas Foundation. Um, at the same time, we are receiving the children from Cameroon and Benin uh, Republic. Uh, they, they just arrived to start classes, so His Excellency is here. And I'm sure, as inquisitive as you are, you might want to hear from him for some few minutes. Your Excellency, the press. Well, thank you very much, Excellency. Uh, Governor Rocha Socorrocha and President of the Rocha International Foundation. Um, distinguished friends, senior government officials of the state of Imo, distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press. My name is Munyane Moleleki. I'm Deputy Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Lesotho in Southern Africa. I have come here in pursuit of knowledge about a gentleman, your son, from the Imo state, whom you will probably have taken for granted, but whose name and fame has spread to the farthest corners of the African continent, including the southernmost tip of Africa, for the unbelievably good work that he is doing, not only in the state of Imo, but in the country of Nigeria, and is spreading like wildfire throughout the African continent. That wildfire has caught up with some of us, myself included, because I have a small foundation in a tiny country with minuscule resources, with uh, over 100 children that I have been bringing up for the last nine years. But I wish to assure you, ladies and gentlemen of the press, senior government officials of the Imo State, the Okorocha family members here with your father, that this fire, fire is going to catch on in all of Africa because, as I've, say, I've said to His Excellency, the governor inside, any river grows by the strength of its tributary. And I would like to consider myself one of the humble tributaries of the river of the African person's dignity going into the future. And I haven't revealed this to His Excellency the Governor yet, but I'm doing it in front of television cameras so that he cannot hide behind any excuses that I am inviting, extending an invitation to His Excellency, the Governor of Imo State, to visit the Kingdom of Lesotho and meet my King and beautiful Queen, as well as my Prime Minister and the people of Lesotho, so that they, like I, the lucky harbinger, can marvel at the wonderful work of this great son of Africa. So I'm extending this invitation for you to come at your earliest convenience, Excellency, to visit my country and to show you off to my king and to my prime minister and colleagues that I'm not the only dreamer in humble Lesotho. There are greater dreamers such as yourself. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the beginning, and I, I would like to thank all the people that were sent to Lagos to meet me and my delegation, and the wonderful reception of His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, at the airport here in Imo State in Oweri, for the wonderful reception that has been accorded to myself and my delegation since our arrival yesterday in this great country. I will be talking with him further tonight to thank the government and people of Nigeria also for the wonderful work that Nigeria has been doing to put out fires of destruction in Liberia and potential conflagration in the country of the Gambia for being a wonderful big brother, this time around in the positive sense of the expression big brother. I am thanking you, Excellency, your great country through you, His Excellency the President and the people of the great country of Nigeria for having once sent your sons and daughters to die for the peace in Liberia. That was very heart-wrenching and touching. And I have come here on a pilgrimage <laughs> to the great country of Nigeria. I thank you very much.